Okay, so in this video, we're going to do things the other way around. Um, we are going to be working with y equals 2x minus 3 over 2x squared minus x minus 1. And I'm going to first find the stationary points of this curve without using differentiation techniques, because that's stuff that we learn in core 3. Um, and then in the second video, I'm going to sketch it. So, first of all, we are going to want to find where this cuts uh, y equals k. So I put 2x minus 3 over 2x squared minus x minus 1 equal to k. Now you're going to want to multiply through by the denominator. So I'm going to have 2x minus 3 is equal to 2kx squared minus kx minus k. From there, you're going to want to put everything onto one side of the equation. So I'm going to put everything onto the right-hand side. So we're going to have 2kx squared. Now I'm going to take 2x from both sides. So I'm going to have take away k plus 2x, because that incorporates the minus k and the minus 2x. And I've also got adding 3 to both sides, so I've got plus 3 minus k, like so. And that's going to be equal to 0. Now, um, I want to find where these y equals k's are tangent to the curve, and so I'm going to look at the discriminant to be equal to 0. So b is minus k plus 2, but when you square it, the negative will disappear. So we're just going to have k plus 2 squared. Take away 4 lots of 2k times 3 minus k. That's going to be equal to 0. Now we're going to want to expand it and simplify everything. So we've got k squared plus 4k plus 4. And then we've got minus 4 times 2k, so that's minus 8k times 3, so minus 8, 16, 24k. Then we've got minus 8k times minus k, so that's plus 8k squared. So together, we have k squared and 8k squared, so 9k squared. We've got 4k to take away 24k, so minus 20k. And we've got the 4 left over. OK. So, you're going to want to do, uh, you're either going to be able to want to spot it or fac uh, by factorising or putting it into the quadratic formula. Now, if we put it into the formula, uh, we get 2 and 2 ninths. So this will factorise to 9k minus 2 and k minus 2. Okay, so that's how it will nicely factorise. So we have k is equal to 2 ninths, or k is equal to 2. So we can say that we've got these tangent lines at 2 ninths and 2. Now, if I want to work out what the x values are, because these are the y values, the coordinates, I want to substitute each of these in turn back into this equation. So when k is equal to 2 ninths, I have 2 ninths times 2, so 4 ninths x squared. Take away 2 ninths plus 2, so 2 ninths in the correct mode. 2 ninths plus 2, that's 20 ninths, so take away 20 ninths x plus 3 take away 2 ninths, which is 25 ninths, and that's going to be equal to 0. If I multiply through by 9, I get 4x squared minus 20x plus 25 is 0. So that factorises to 2x uh, minus 5 squared is 0. So x is equal to 5 halves. So that means that one of the stationary points is at 5 halves, 2 ninths. Okay, so that's one of the coordinates of the stationary points. Now, when k... Let's give, my little space, give myself a little bit of space here. When k is 2, 
substituting back into this one, we're going to have 0 is equal to 4x squared, take away 4x, uh, 3 take away 2 is 1, so plus 1. So this is 0 is equal to 2x uh, minus 1 squared. You should always find that you get one bracket squared here because it should be a repeated root as required, as we wanted. So that means that x is equal to 1 half. So the coordinates of the other stationary point is 1 half 2. So now that we have the coordinates of the two stationary points, we should be in a very good place to go on and sketch it. And that's what we're going to do in the next video.